A new system has formed in the North Indian Ocean, more specifically in the Bay of Bengal. 91B, a tropical disturbance, right now positioned at 8.3 degrees north, 88.3 degrees east. This is a tropical disturbance that has sustained winds approximately at 35 miles per hour with a pressure of 998 millibars, and it's moving to the west-northwest at 10 miles per hour latest at 11.30 hours Myanmar, 10.30 hours India, 5 hours UTC on May the 10th. There's no tropical storm force winds on the system, so there's no point to put a, a wind field scale. <laughs> and about the locations of this system, well, uh, this system is located about 460 kilometers to the southwest of Andaman and Nicobar Islands. 775 kilometers to the east of the closest point of the easternmost point of Sri Lanka, 1,030 kilometers to the southeast of of Chennai. I think it's pronounced like that, Chennai, India, and 1,330 kilometers to the south southeast of Akyab in Myanmar. There's no cyclone watches, warnings, or storm surges in effect currently. And well, it's expected. Uh, well, the system for right. Uh, well, to, right now, the system is expected to have 35 miles per hour sustained winds by the Indian Meteorological Department, the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, and of course, Force 13 in our analysis as well. And the future of this possible cyclone, well, it's expected to turn to the northwest uh, and maintain its track, uh, its direction, at least in the next one or two days, then shifting to the north and making a turn to the northeast uh, while, in, while intensifying as well, and then possibly making landfall uh, in the Myanmar-Bangladesh uh, border, possibly in the next four to five days as a potentially severe cyclonic system. The sea surface temperatures right now really warm, 31, possibly 32 degrees Celsius. So of course the conditions, at least in the ocean, are completely favorable for rapid intensification for the system. And the winds, well as you can see on this graphic, it's expected to, to have actually um, more than 114 knots of intensity, possibly 135 in some points as well, before making landfall in possibly between Bangladesh and Myanmar. But this is a five-day forecast and any kind of change is prone or more prone to occur. And of course the rainfall as well, it's a really broad area of rainfall between 8 to 16 inches May, may in some parts also possibly reaching 24 inches depending on how strong and how fast it's it's moving uh, the system but of course high amounts of rainfall uh, at least in the ocean and in the coastal lines at least possibly between four to eight inches in the, in that five day forecast but i repeat again it's really prone to to be a subject of many changes and about the wind, the, the wind, the wind speeds, the, the the forecast of the intensity of the system. Some models are predicting that it's not going to be as that intense as maybe the GFS is expecting. Possibly between a category one to category two uh, tropical cyclone. Possibly a category three on its final stages before making landfall. But then there's a, a HWRF forecast of being. A possibly a category 4 system so of course this is a really intense uh, tropical cyclone but still uh, there's not it's it's not something to uh, to take for granted 
and the wind shear levels are expected to remain low and at least in the next one or two days but then increasing marginally and possibly affecting the system before making landfall so let's see what happens in the atmosphere possibly the, the wind shear is going to be the main factor of why this system may not be intensifying as quick as maybe it's expected at least by the GFS but still, it's expected to remain a really significant cycle in the next days. Sea surface temperatures between 31 to 32 degrees Celsius. Humidity marginally high between 70 to 80 percent most of its life cycle. So practically there's enough fuel for the system to be quite strong. And well, this is the satellite imagery of 91B and regardless of any intensification it's going to be a really significant system producing heavy rains in the coastal lines possibly for india and the manicover islands and possibly as well in bangladesh and myanmar as it gets close to those locations and those are different floaters and animations that we have in forster team's website so please take a look on that and enjoy all the new all the new tools and material we have for you so please go go to to the website <laughs> that's all for today's uh, 91b update we'll, we will back again tomorrow with more information about the system thank you so much